Okay, Tim, uh, well, that's pre-season over with. That's gone by in the blink of an eye. Um, tell us uh, your thoughts on today, and then we'll, we'll speak about the, the Migri game at Bath uh, in a bit. Uh, I mean, listen, a lot of the games that we've played at home have been dominated by the wind a little bit. It's quite a windy windy ground, and it seems to blow from the <clears throat> you know right, uh, left to right, as you like, if you stood in the dugout. And aids. I mean, our goalkeeper was almost going box to box in the first half from his six-yard box, but... Um, listen, if I'm honest, I'd like to see us do a bit better. I really would. I think sometimes, uh, you know, when we got the ball and passed it a little bit, we looked a lot better. We're going long too early with the force ten behind us, and it was it was obviously going straight through. You know, now I do want us to turn teams and and put things in behind defenders to to, to make them turn around, but. <clears throat> you got to be realistic. I mean, we can't do it with a tornado blowing in your back. So when we actually worked it up the pitch a little bit more, we looked better. Um, you know, and, and then individuals in our team, Pinchard, Anks, you know, those types of players, you know, they're, they're probably better. I and mean, Pinchard was outstanding today. Um, so I took I took some positives. Scored off a, set, a good set play in the corner. Uh, obviously, Pinchard's free kick, but th that was a corner that we just looked at on Thursday. To be fair, that that near post run from from Hanksy. Um, so there was those pros and cons. You know, at times we were sloppy. Still, you know, we still got three or four trialists in the side. Um, you know, so we've we've got to really try and batten down our starting uh, eleven. We've obviously got suspensions. We've got in, uh, injuries at the minute. So I've got my hands together praying <coughs> that a couple of those injuries come good on on Tuesday or Thursday. Um, so. Uh, you know, a lot to think about, really, and uh, you know, I mean, we're pretty much eating up budget-wise, so we'll work with what we got, and, and and you know, as I said to the supporters at the end, we'll give everything we've got for the football club. Everybody will give everything they've got, and and we'll see where that you know where that takes us. Uh, just quickly, just casting <coughs> your mind back then to to midweek at, at Bath, yeah. a bit of a different sort of game, and and you had to kind of react in the first half. Just yeah. just to tell us about how you saw that game. Well, I thought we got battered. I mean, let, let's be honest. I mean, Bath, Bath were far, far better than us on the night for sure. Um, you know, they've got a huge budget. <laughs> Here's what it is: they've got lads in there. Well, obviously, you know, they've got a lad that was here last year playing at a back from, and I know what he's earning because we were talking to him. So it's you know, we, we we can't get near that. And they were better than us. Listen, mate, I've got no qualms about that. They were better than us. Our shape wasn't working, and we changed. I know this is pre. I was caught. I said to Jan, you know, it's pre-season, but I don't want to get beat five and six. I want, you know, I want us to be competitive. So uh, yeah, we changed it and, and matched them up with a, a bit of a four-three-three, and we did better after that. We we got a foothold in the game and had a couple of chances ourselves. I mean, we deserved to get beat, and we could have got beat by more. But listen, it is what it is. Um, We'll be working hard Tuesday and Thursday. It'll be the tactical. Uh, it'll be you know set restarts and and everything we're looking to do in and out of possession. Um, and then you know the, the games start. You know we, we're up at Blythe, uh, you know, tough away. You know our longest trip first day. <clears throat> so we'll, we'll know where we are by this time next weekend for sure. We'll know if we're short. Um, but you know we, we're going to need to keep everybody fit. Uh, you know we, we're going to try and have to keep our I'll start in 11 if you like as fit as we can. We can't really afford to ship too many injuries and suspensions. But um, listen, I knew the story when I came in. So I said, as I said to the fans, we're just going to work hard, give it everything we've got, and we'll see where that takes us. So, um, who's caught your eye or impressed you <coughs> most this pre season? Well, out of our not, players? <coughs> yeah, I mean, listen, I'm, I'm not going to stand there and mention in, in individuals. Everybody's worked really hard, you know, in terms of the physical stuff. Um, you know, Fleets and, and Jan have made made it hard. Um, you know, we obviously at, at part time we don't train too often, not as often as as I'd like, but we we can't. The boys have got jobs and that's it. Um, so listen, we've got some good footballers in the team. I think I think everybody knows who they are. Um, we've got to make sure that we've we've got enough physicality in the team and in the side and in the squad. Because it is a brutal division, and if you can't defend your own box and you can't defend a long throw followed by a corner, followed by another corner, followed by another long throw on the other side, then you're going to struggle. You're going to struggle. So we need to make sure that we've got physicality in the team. I think we've got enough footballers in the team, especially on this surface, you know, which sort of begs you to play football a little bit more to 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 be able to keep the ball and, and rotate the ball around. But you know it's pointless doing that if you get done with one straight one over the back of you or one straight ball in your box. So 
you know, I've, I've got a lots, a lots to think about, and believe me, I do. Um, we're still short. There's no, there's no. I mean, I spent all day yesterday trying to get centre half in because we only had one. So uh, I managed to get Teddy in from Oxford United, and I thank them very much for allowing him to come and play. Um, but you know, I, I need Ty do for fit. Um, speaking to a lad today who's a, who's a very good player. Um, I believe he's going to sign, so I don't know when they're going to announce that. I'm praying he signs. He's, he's, he's listen. I work with him before. He's a good player. He makes us much more physical. He's a big boy, a big unit. Um, so we'll see. But uh, it's a long old season. You know, them Saturday, Tuesday, Saturdays are starting as from next week, and um, listen, I'll be a lot, a lot wiser when I'm on the bus coming home from uh, from uh, Blythe on Saturday. Thank you very much, Tim. Well, all the very best of luck um, for the for the season and, and on Saturday. And, and well, we'll catch up with you probably um, after Blythe. Yeah, look forward to it. Thank you.